Hey guys, welcome to the View Cryptos channel. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about uh, some of the latest uh, news about Ledger and its new product, Ledger Recover. And we are going to discuss some concerning facts about Ledger and uh, its security. Uh, so let's uh, first take a look at uh, what this new product actually is. So Ledger Recover. Uh, that is launching soon. Self-custody is at the core of our offering and your secret recovery phrase is securely generated on your device. Or at least they say so. We have no access to it. This will never change. We are uncompromising about security. Okay. <clears throat> Leisure Recover is an optional subscription for users who want a backup of their secret recovery phrase. You don't have to use it and can continue managing your recovery phrase yourself if that's why uh, you bought a Ledger. This is not automatically enabled by any firmware updates. This is your choice. But first and foremost, how is your secret recovery phrase generated? Ledger uses uh, blah 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 and so on. We are going to skip this one. Not all uh, of uh, the users are, are so technically uh, knowledgeable. So, if you choose to subscribe, Ledger Recover encrypts a version of your private key and splits it into three fragments using Shamir secret sharing. All of this happens on the secure element chip. So your secret recovery phrase is not at risk. These encrypted fragments are stored by three different parties on cryptographically secure hardware security modules. So the basic idea of Ledger, at least before, it was that your private key <laughs> was never able to leave your device. But now uh, it appears that at least after this firmware update from Ledger, this is uh, no more the case and your private key uh, in some form is going to be able to leave your device and this is concerning. Let's check some interesting tweets and opinions about uh, this new uh, Ledger firmware update and product, Ledger Recover and how it can actually create security risks uh, for the Ledger users. So did someone at Ledger got fired for telling the truth? Don't think there was any confusing wording to me. Ledger is now in damage control. So let's check this tweet. You may have seen a tweet from our Ledger support account being shared regarding Ledger firmware updates. Unfortunately, in our attempt to clarify how Ledger and all wallets work with the firmware, a customer support agent posted a tweet with confusing wording. Uh, I've read several misconceptions about how a wallet works. It seems some people thought there is some magic. Okay, okay. We've deleted, uh, we've deleted it because we don't want people to continue to be confused by this and are replacing it with tweet threads which ad address all frequently asked questions and concerns in the most understandable and accurate way possible. So, <clears throat> this is uh, the tweet. This is a tweet from last year. Hi, your private keys never leave the secure element chip, which has never been hacked. The secure element is third party certified and is the same technology as used in passports and credit cards. A firmware update cannot extract the private keys from the secure element. And this is from this year, from a few, few days ago. Technically speaking, this is from Ledger support. Technically speaking, it is and always has been possible to write firmware that facilitates key extraction. You have always trusted Ledger not to deploy such firmware whether you knew it or not. So this is it guys. Uh, actually before they delete uh, this tweet I actually I saw it. Uh, so it's uh, not only 
a picture of a tweet so it's uh, it was a real real tweet so if you are wondering so basically it was uh, always possible to update the firmware in such a way that uh, it can extract your private key uh, And there is a tweet from uh, Trezor, Trezor uh, Hardware Wallet. Transparency matters. That is why Trezor is fully open source. So basically, the Trezor firmware is open source and the Ledger firmware is closed source. And uh, yeah, this is a big concern for uh, many. Uh, let's check some tweets here. Uh, regarding this issue with Ledger, so this is from Charles Hoskinson, <laughs> he is uh, referencing to this tweet, exciting update, Ledger has a new product, Ledger Recover, and yeah, I think uh, this, uh, this GIF uh, speaking for itself here. <laughs> uh, so yeah, this is the Ledger deleted tweet, Ledger deleted this tweet uh, where they claimed Ledger and our trusted providers have no access to your secret recovery phrase. If you use Ledger Recover, your Ledger generates an additional backup phrase. And this is another deleted tweet. Very interesting. So if, if you use Ledger Recover, your Ledger generates an additional backup phrase that is not your secret recovery phrase. Throughout this process, Ledger and our trusted providers have no access to your secret recovery phrase. This backup phrase is then split into three fragments. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> this is concerning. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, here you can see some angry users <laughs> are actually <laughs> destroying their ledgers after this uh, news. Yep. Okay, uh, we'd like to see crypto industry grow, one is connected uh, up user experiences and one is onboarding. Leisure Recover is one of our attempts at improving that onboarding experience. We definitely didn't build this for Maxis with great OPSEC. Wow, okay. Leisure support, the problem is Leisure always told users that seed phrase could not leave the device. Now it turns out it can. That's a problem. Ledger light. This is from DJ Crypto. You can't access my seed, but <clears throat> you have already shown you created internal components we didn't know about. Trust is gone, not just uh, taking your word for it. Uh, you can trust, this from David, uh, David Schwartz, you can trust ledgers uh, because the secure element can only run code signed by ledger and a ledger would never sign code that per permits the key to be ex exfiltrated from the secure element. Mm, they just did though. <laughs> yep. And this is from uh, Haraldo XRP, Harry. Uh, hi, your private keys never leave the secure element chip, which has never been hacked. The secure element is third party certified and is the same technology as used in the passports and credit cards. A firmware update cannot extract the private keys from the secure element. This is from last year and he's uh, actually replying to this tweet here, uh, which was deleted. Yeah, this is the deleted. Uh, tweet in which Ledger support uh, is actually telling that it was always possible to write firmware update and to push it to all the users and basically this firmware update could uh, extract the private keys. So the security is based on the uh, trust at the moment that Ledger is not going to lie to, to you. So <laughs> basically, if they want, they can uh, write 
firmware update that can uh, in theory in theory that can uh, extract your private key so this is really concerning and uh, for now I personally am uh, not doing anything I'm not updating I'm uh, <laughs> I'm not uh, destroying my my ledger for sure uh, yeah I will wait and see how things develop but uh, this doesn't look uh, very well uh, at all and yeah this is uh, actually creating uh, attack vectors on the on the ledgers so this is really concerning and i uh, also replied to one of the ledger support tweets we understand that many of you have questions about whether ledger has access to user users uh, secret recovery phrases regardless of being subscribed to ledger recover i replied that words mean nothing code is more meaningful and truthful than words open source the firmware because guys the only way to verify that the firmware is really secure and that there is no backdoor that can be uh, used to extract your private key the only way is that uh, the, the firmware is open source and at the moment this is not the case so this new update and uh, this news that your private key can leave your ledger device these news are really very concerning for me and uh, as uh, we have seen for the whole community or many users that are using uh, ledger devices so yeah that's it that is for today uh, thank you very much for watching please like subscribe share the video leave your comments below the video uh, i will be glad to to see your opinions in the comment section so please uh, share your opinions be safe out there and see you next time